Hi, family of God. This is Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. On this channel, all the content that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I entreat you to subscribe to this channel and like this very message you're about to listen to. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that you listen to, that you engage, that brings results into your life. So I encourage you to stay tuned and watch this video to the end. And do subscribe to this channel and put in your comment section what you feel about this message. God bless you. Father, I decree and declare over your people, shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever comes to an end forever i decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are whether they are in abuja in lagos in the north the south east west europe america far west wherever they are between now and the end of the month the month is not ended yet I gravitate them towards your destiny. Every long-standing issue, you have prayed, you have fasted, it has refused to change. I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers, like Ahasuerus, and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season, can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men. From your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing. And I declare, may it bring you profiting. 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 What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, May the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds, giving, standing with us. I just felt stirred in my heart to do that. People give. The things that you see us do, 
it is based on the givings the faithful givings of God's people and I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given not just here in Nigeria but across the globe UK America Canada people have given for our meetings coming people have given even in the house people have sown into my life as a man of God I stretch my hands God is not a fraudster God is not a scammer he doesn't play games with people in the name that is above all names you have sown to this ground it is good ground therefore receive a hundredfold harvest therefore receive a hundredfold harvest a harvest of prosperity a harvest of wisdom a harvest of helpers a harvest of joy a harvest of help in the name of Jesus may you never do anything alone in your life God will raise people to stand with you to stand by you to stand for you in the name of Jesus quota to shame may God raise help us for you now let me speak over your spiritual life everything attacking your prayer life attacking your word study life attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things it dies permanently right now may your prayer life be fanned back to flames may your word study life be fanned back to flames may your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames may your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of Jesus Christ listen I call you Beulah and Hephzibah Beulah and Hephzibah you are like a well watered garden I call you a wealthy place an oasis springing possibilities in the name of Jesus you will not beg and you will not borrow yet you will not lack in the name of Jesus these hands that are lifted remain lifted forever they will not go down the Lord is your shepherd he will guide you in paths of righteousness he restores your soul in the name of Jesus your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny and I pray for you the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week may God bring this as a witness to your life wave your hands to Jesus give him all the praise wave your hands to the King of Kings hallelujah amen and amen thank you for staying to the end of this message but before you leave i want to tell you a story there was a father who has two sons and so he sent two of his sons to the farm like to go and harvest yam so he called them both and sent them the elderly one says he is going to go that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had, when you were listening to this message, 
dies and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you hear alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.